Hey guys, we're on our way to Freeport for a uh, Team is a major accident on the scanner. I was listening to it, it sounds like maybe a uh, vehicle struck a parked vehicle. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll see what we got when we get there. We're, we're on our way. I'm not sure what kind of vehicle it is we're picking up or really any other details other than what I heard on the scanner. So, we'll be over there here shortly. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we are pulling up to this accident here. Pretty, pretty low on details. So, listening to the scanner, I believe. It was a vehicle that struck a parked car, or struck a struck parked vehicle. Other than that, I really don't know too much else. I'm going to park here and uh, walk over and see what we got. grass over there. Hey, um, Hello. Which, uh, what? Um, Eric Campbell? Yeah. I believe yours is the car. Car? It's, uh, hitting almost the house. Okay. Uh, bushes here. Definitely not going to be driving this one back. Get some pictures on here. I have to winch this thing off. Probably gonna have to pull up long ways, kind of right in front of this one, so that way I can winch it straight out in front of that Tahoe. So I'm gonna block this for just a minute. Does that work? Thank you, ma'am. Do a little bit of winching on this one because of how it's positioned.
snatch block on this one. I might have links on it. I might have to. Nope. It's got, got control arms. Alright, let's see what this thing does. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. Snatch block on it. We'll pull a little bit of an angle this way. I believe J and M is on the way for. Tahoe, or whatever it is, Tahoe Suburban. Let's see what this does. I might have to set the e-brake. Yeah, it's gonna roll. door opens. What do you know? Park. Oh, park and brake. Didn't really seem to work. Which way my wheels pointing that way? Get the wheels turned. We might have to get creative with this one. Grab just this one side for now. There, if I can. What's that? I guess this is what I'm up. Yep, that's yours. Chains off of it. Oh, he's stealing. Hmm. 
here. Let me see if I can't get this thing to slide around now. Not gonna cooperate with you. Both rooms. What's that? I have no idea. Probably, probably a little bit of both. grabbing both rear wheels here that should allow me to have both not spin well, that's not gonna be long enough I'll grab a longer strap feet longer and allow me to get across them all right, I'm about to see if I can speak around your front all right By stopping both rear wheels from spinning, it should keep it from wanting to roll straight back. Since I can't set the parking brake, blocks and skates probably wouldn't be of much help on this grass. We gonna improvise a little bit. Because of the 
probably gonna end up having to just reposition on it now that it's over. Squared up. See what this other side looks like here. Probably just gonna have to. Oh yeah. Go ahead and slide it around a little bit more here if we can. up with it now try to turn the wheel this way so the front end kicks over towards the bed main thing is we got the rear tires up now why are my tires spinning This way a little bit more. back up now that way it quits kicking over on me right Good.
grab my uh, chains from this yard over here before I forget them. down here real quick Luckily we're not going too far because this is a Freeport rotation so it's going to the Freeport yard it's like Daniel's having kind of the same issue If I can't help them right quick. Oop. You want me to try to hold the brakes and slide so you can slide it over? I just popped off the on the other side. Did you? If you uh I had to grab the rear wheels on mine. It was mine was doing the same thing. Have you tried setting the parking brake? No. I would, if you can set the parking brake and pull it at an angle like that, you know, snatch block off that corner, then uh, you can slide the whole end over. That's what I had to do. Either set the parking brake or I can hold the brakes for you. Either way, just let me know. Try to help out. However, I can. We all out here trying to accomplish the same goal. Why not help each other? Get mine secure. So that we're ready to roll out whenever we're good, just in case I do end up helping Daniel. It went to the floor, so whenever you go to start winching on it, I'm just gonna hold the brakes and lock them all up. All right. Just let me know. Let me know when to grab them. All right, man. Ready? So we can stop all the tires from. Start ready. Start ready, huh? Mm -hmm. We can stop all the mm -hmm. tires from rolling. It'll go in the direction that's being pulled, not the direction it wants to roll. No keys. No keys. See how we're sliding sideways now? There we 
go, coming up on the bed. Jumping a snatch squat, or as he's using a J hook as a snatch squat, but he's jumping it right now. It's locked up. I already tried it. If uh, oh, you got the keys for it? Yeah. Hey, you got any four by fours on here? If you get some four by four blocks and put behind the tires, the whole thing will just slide. Well, over. I grabbed this truck. I'm not used to this truck, so I have no. <laughs> Ain't got no clue what's in it. Is it doing anything? Which way? Which way you want them turned? You want them this way? <laughs> I know what to do. I'm gonna pick up and uh turn. I got it I got it in park now. Yeah, you can turn underneath it. Yeah. I got it in park now. If so if you winch it, it ought to slide straight over. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Oh yeah, yeah. It ought to slide straight over now. Yeah, I figure if I pick up it uh, turn under it. It ought it ought to go over now though. Try to try to winch in on it real quick. It ought to it ought to straighten up now if we because we can stop these two from spinning. That's why I always have little four by fours stick behind that and then it'll it's, it's it'll slide straight over. Yeah. Well, that's why I hate about jumping between trucks, you know. Well, this one, uh, my truck. Uh, Hey, Debbie. Oh. Somehow Dylan went into a hole. Oh. Next up, the steps on the driver's side. The fuel tank. Uh... Did it good then, huh? Yeah. Ooh. So you just about got her beat now. It's, uh, his paper, you. So I'm good to go then? You're good. Yes. Awesome. It's just, I can't. It's the only uh, vehicle that we actually have. Simple. All right. Well, I'm going to roll out then. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No problem. See you, Daniel. You may not be in front of my car, but I'll, as soon as you stop it, I'll be gone. Tempo. What kind of cleanup we got here real quick. Throw a couple of these pieces. Car beacons again. Ah, it's locked up. All right. We got these loaded up. Might help Daniel get his loaded up. These were pretty crunched up. A little bit of wanted to fight. Try to wiggle my way out here. And then the officer ought to be rolling out here. Daniel looks like he's about loaded. Yeah, he's rolling his bed up right now. So. Cool. Well, we got these loaded up here. Roadway's clear. Thank you. All right, we are headed to the yard. We'll be over there here shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Back at Freeport Yard here. Go ahead and get 
get this thing unloaded. Guardian Angel on. The neck light, we all can see. You know, we got a little bit of extra light out here in the yard. This thing got really smashed. I believe on the scanner it says something about a they hit a parked car if I was listening to the the right calls. It looks like they went head on to the the, uh, uh, the Tahoe or Suburban. Well, I didn't pay too much attention to it. Uh, had front end damage also. I'm guessing this one, from what it sounded like, this one was the parked car. The other one was the one that hit it. So this would be what we call unit two in the wreck, meaning it would be not at fault vehicle. how well this thing wants to roll off I position the truck a little bit closer basically to where the front tires will come off the edge of the bed right about the spot that I believe the uh, vehicle is going to stop rolling at the heavy front end damage I don't believe this thing's gonna want to roll off of the bed. Let's see how it does. I'll probably end up chalking the tires and undoing my rig in here on the rear tires so that the rear end wants to roll off. Just a second what she wants to do and adjust the plan accordingly. But I'm somewhat banking on it wanting to uh, not roll very well. Pretty heavily damaged. I'm gonna go ahead and chalk the rear tire, the front tires rather, just because I am not completely convinced that it's not going to want to roll away, even though the. Um, let's see if I can get to this tire easier. Even though it says that it's in park, with it being damaged the way that it is. It uh, will still generally want to roll. This one looks like it's chalked by plastic and stuff. Just try to stick it in front of this one. Try to 
walk my truck here. Then I gotta try to get the uh, strap. off of there. Yeah, it's come undone. I'm gonna walk across so I don't have to walk in front of it. The only time I would ever really try to do this right here is some kind of a recovery like this to where you want to stop the uh, wheels from moving so that way you can slide it in the event like in this particular case the uh, e-brake was malfunctioning and there's being off in that grass how it was there was no way I was skates were gonna stay underneath it blocks wouldn't have stayed underneath it I didn't really want to drive off in, into those people's yard. Just trying to avoid dragging it across the yard to avoid as much damage to the grass as I could. I gotta finish up my paperwork, get all my stuff cleaned up, and we'll be uh, ready for whatever comes next. Thanks for watching, guys.